Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're taking a quick look at the jobs and services you can do with the C12 earthwork and paving license. Now we put a lot of time into making these videos as informative as possible. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, it would help us out a lot. Now the C12 license is for earthwork and paving contractors in the state of California. This definition is straight from the CSLB. I strongly suggest that you check it out and we've got it linked down below the video. Now the vast majority of the contractors that hold the C12 license are doing earthwork and grading work. So pothole repairs, earth moving, uh, operating tractors, backhoes, different types of bobcat services and rentals in some cases. This could include trenching, augering, braking, road work, site preparation, ADA, a compliance services, fine grading, elevation control. Many contractors that hold the C12 are also doing ge geological testing uh, and consultation services, grind overlays, hauling, erosion control, excavating for driveways and concrete repair. There's a ton of different services that fall under the C12 license. Uh, this is one of the main groupings of services. This could also include analysis, project management services, and even equipment rental and services as well. Now, many contractors that hold the C12 also specialize in asphalt paving. So asphalt removal, replacement, overlays, curbs, speed bumps, doing trenches, repairs, crack filling, uh, pathways, driveways, seal coating and removing, different kinds of asphalt concrete removal, parking lot services in many ways, and even just working in a consultation and project management role. Now, in California, contractors can hold multiple license classifications. The most common that C12 contractors have are the C8 concrete license, the A general engineering license, and the B general building license. Now, we've got a lot of information about how to get multiple contractor licenses that you can check out on our website. Now, in order to get the C12, you've got to pass the law and business exam. So everything on the law and business exam, we teach you in our course, but a little bit of what you'll need to know includes workers' compensation, taxes, financial reporting. You'll need to know the various business structures, the different types of contracts, mechanics liens, hiring and firing practices in California, finance, uh, bid, bidding and cost control, cash management. There's a ton of info. We cover everything you'll need to know. Now, of course, you've got to pass the C12 trade exam. This is going to cover everything related to earthwork and paving. So your job site conditions, estimating, project layout, uh, grade control, soils and geology, uh, fill grading, excavation, trenching. You'll get everything that you need to know to pass this course. Uh, of course, you have to have the experience coming into the exam, but we cover everything that you need to know. You'll get more than enough information to make sure that you're prepared. Now, the exam is about 230 questions. It's going to be multiple choice. It's closed book. You'll get three hours to complete it. It'll be taken via computer at a proctored testing facility that'll be based on your zip code. Now, you'll also want to make sure that you're tight with math skills, so arithmetic, units of measurement. Make sure you're comfortable with calculating square footage and, of course, percentages and decimals. Now, you'll need to have four years of experience at the minimum to get the C12 license. You'll need a USA identification a social security or ITIN number, and you'll need a certifier to sign off. Now, when it comes to a certifier, this person can be a licensed C12 contractor or a general A contractor, or in some cases a general B contractor. You could be, use an employer or fellow employee within the last 10 years, a union representative, a fellow journeyman, could be a business associate, a former supervisor uh, or foreman, an architect or engineer, or a building inspector. And essentially, this person just needs to provide a brief description of your experience as it pertains to earthwork and grading. Now, everything that's covered in our course is presented in a very clear way. It's very easy to understand, tons of examples, diagrams, essentially a full summary of everything that you'll need to know to pass both exams. So come in the form of physical study guides, you'll get online videos with tons of audio, online practice exams, a full math course, full application review to make sure that your application is filled out correctly, and then of course full customer support throughout the entire process. Now we've got more information about the requirements, the fees, as well as links to the application below the video. I hope you found this information helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Drop us a comment if you have any questions. Again, this is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.